Hello everyone, I've been aim coaching people for a living for about more than a year. Is the G303 good for claw users? Well, yes and no. Before you guys absolutely f***ing neuter me for that, <laughs> for that take, at least listen to my reasoning and you'll understand. What makes a mouse good? Is it so non-offensive that it's usable for everyone? Or is it so niche that it's the absolute best for people who have a very specific grip and aim style? Well, for the G303, if you're in the first camp, this mouse f***ing sucks! Holy sh this mother ain't good for Hello? Yeah, a neighbor just walked by my house and he thought I was yelling at him. I'm gonna touch you. But in the second camp, which is my ideology, it's probably the best mouse in its category. We're gonna do a shape analysis and a surprisingly overly detailed grip style recommendation guide with alternatives to if you do happen to be a normal claw user who wants to have a G303 experience. So this is the mouse itself, the G303. 75 grams, hero sensor, battery power of 70 hours if you literally sit down and use it for 70 hours straight. I don't know what kind of chat activity you're trying to do, but you know, it'll last you for 70 hours. But realistically, it's around like a week's worth of battery life or more, right? I'm not gonna do a sensor test, click test or any of that. I mean like Logitech clicks, they're around the same. Sensor test, it's Logitech. I don't even need to do that. Mice nowadays, especially from Logitech at an engineering perspective, are already Pretty damn amazing. So no one cares. It just it just works. Okay, it works. Who the fuck gives a shit? Huh? I I got this white piece of cardboard so you can at least better see the shape. But yeah, G303. The new version of the G303 is just not the same measurements as the original G303. And if you've never used the G303, really just think of it as a bigger G203. If you were to render the G203 on a Game Boy or some. Shit. And by the way, sorry, I don't have the original G303 on, on hand. I'm sorry, I sold it. I resold it, okay? It, it's, 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 it's free money. It's free money, okay? So, let's we'll start with hand measurements. Uh, and if you notice that there's a little dot right here. It's supposed to represent where Shroud grips his mouse. But I don't give a shit. That's how I hold it. it like this. Around 5.9, 6.0. This is actually very similar to the grip width of the G Pro Wireless. Except, obviously, you know, it's diamond. And to measure the hump. The max hump is around 39 or 40 millimeters tall. Length, kind of not that important, but whatever. 117 millimeters long. So something I would recommend to people who are medium size plus. If you're within these measurements, you should be pretty much okay. So what type of grip style would fit well with this mouse? A lot of people believe that this is mainly claw, but yes and no. I'm gonna flash you on the screen what my mouse grip is. Yeah, at first it looks like a typical claw, but if you look ever so closely, there is something wrong. And it's because how I hold mice, I like to grip it like a baseball, if you actually noticed it. I actually f suck at baseball, but besides that, the reason why this mouse works actually quite well for me, primarily because of the diamond shape right here. This is really good for people who like to curl their palm like this kind of having a V. So for people like me, grips their mouse like a baseball and curls their palm like this, this fits perfectly. That's why if you tried to claw the G303, you may feel like it's really hard to anchor your shot at the target. You probably feel like you're a little bit too jittery. And it's really just because you're missing the support structures towards your palm. It is because of the diamond shape that I can wrap my palm around the back side of the mouse. Claw users typically don't do that. And because it wings out right behind where you grip it, you kind of pull the mouse back Back with your fingers, allowing you to lock the G303 into your palm if you curl with your palm. If you don't, you're gonna be very jittery with this mouse. The average claw user will just not feel comfortable with that. And even if you do have the grip that secures the mouse in your hand, you're not gonna have as much finger correction real estate in comparison to other traditional mice. The little love handles on the G303 kinda prevent that. So what grip would I recommend this for? Well, a palm claw hybrid. Mostly cause you kinda need the curling of a palm user to secure the base from moving around too much and half arched fingers so you can pull the mouse back towards you. A palm user is gonna get a hand equivalent of scoliosis from just using this mouse. Claw users will feel a lack of stability and fingertip users are gonna notice that the mouse is gonna shift closer to them over time, making their aim inconsistent. And that, that's not to say it's impossible to hold it in any other grip, but what I am saying is that it's gonna be harder for you to learn how to use this mouse if you want to have the experience of a G303, but like 90% of people don't baseball 
small grip your mouse, I really highly suggest the XM1. Because on the bottom side that it's very close to a traditional mouse, you're gonna have way more back palm support. For me personally, I'm very inconsistent with the XM1 because I try to grip it like a G303. It's probably not gonna be the case for most of you guys out there. The XM1 is very, very similar into feel with the original G303 but with a back support. You can hold it like a normal claw mouse. For most of you guys, I would recommend the XM1. The G303 is just not meant for most people. But for people who are in this niche population, this is amazing. Is it a bad mouse? Eh. Is it a good mouse? Eh. Depends on your definition, but it's definitely top tier in terms of tech. I know it got kind of boring towards the end, but I just want to let you guys know before you dive into getting this mouse. It's a good mouse, but you need to have a certain grip to like it. If you guys like more aim related content like this, feel free to subscribe and like the video. It helps me know that you like content like this, not any of the bullshit of doing like 12 hours of callbacks, all right? But uh, yeah, like and subscribe.